Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Blaze, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Are we ready to get started? I think we're probably ready to get started. Let's do this. 38 wins, and uh, some good play, some poor play. This is a really good start. Um, why do I say that without even knowing what I have? It's the Spirit Heart combined with the Prayer card. If we can just play not terribly, that means we should be able to have at least one more HP for the next floor. Plenty of fodder for a deal with the Devil. Z927B09H. And we'll pop that. That'll let us get down to three, or up to three for the next floor, assuming we don't completely botch this one. We're very lucky, by the way. We kind of have a weird, like, perfect storm. In a good way. Ooh, that was a little dangerous. Um, yeah, you know, like, if there was a perfect storm of, like, candy and, and Vancouver Canucks playoff victories and, uh, you know, delicious, you know, hopped IPAs, but not so hopped as to be gross. That's the perfect storm we're talking about right here. We're on the basement, easy floor. Uh, HP up should not be much of an issue as a result of the prayer card. And uh, we have a spirit heart to back us up in case we do make a couple of mistakes, which is great. Keep it going here. That bomb will be useful on that tinted rock that we found. And Halo of Flies, no slouch either. Need uh, stem cells in the streets, but a brimstone in the bed. I don't know if Halo of Flies really does that for us, but it... It starts us off, and that is uh, an opportunity for us to get something on that shop. Uh, well, at least without having to spend a key, because there was that uh, Curse of the Maze uh, kind of good luck, I guess, that actually managed to get us into the shop without having to spend a key. Uh, I will, and I may regret this. This is like the perfect storm of Henrik Sedin, Art Ross Trophy wins, and, um, you know, Toronto Blue Jays World Series victories. And then all of a sudden, there's like, but somebody might have, you know... Uh, the flu on game seven or something like that, but maybe they'll come back with kind of super genes and they'll be way better. I don't know what I'm talking about. The metaphor is falling apart. Now, here's where we slow play a little bit. Come on. Come on. Get baited. Get baited. We're waiting for Bob's brain anyway. We want these flies to get close enough that a Bob's brain explosion, great name for a funk band, can blow up the tinted rock. We must have been so close. But, uh,. You know, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. That's actually not true. Uh, although it's an expression that rolls off the tongue nicely, close counts in a lot of sports. Curling, uh, you know, darts, close counts in, in many sports. Shuffleboard, archery, some of the most, uh, you know, prestigious sports in the world are, are determined by closeness. Croquet, I think, I think. I don't know, it's been a while since I played croquet. Bocce. Bocce's a big one. Alright, let's see what we got here. We are going to be at... Uh, well, actually, you should phrase it the opposite way. The Duke of Flies is going to be at our mercy here because Bob's brain is pretty much the closest you can get to a hard counter to him next to having, you know, unlimited bombs, which is basically what we have. Please fire. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm an idiot, and we will lose out on that tinted rock. Yeah, there's no way around it, I think. We might as well just head down to the next floor. There's no reason to use prayer card now. We might as well wait until we get down to the next floor and we can pop prayer card. So we are at 4 HP. Still got half a spirit heart backing us up. Honestly, a pretty realistic uh, expectation for the way things probably we would have expected them to be. So I'm not too worried about this. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that I am only two hits away from losing deal with the devil precedent. And at that point, it doesn't really matter how much HP we have if we're having so much trouble killing enemies. But... We do have one key, so that's our item room spoken for on this floor, and we do have, uh, five cents, so if we get a second key, or for whatever reason, yeah, don't do what I did there, if for whatever reason decide to just use our first key to go to the shop instead of the item room, we can do so. But we have two keys now, and, uh, that is very encouraging. As long as we don't get hit too soon, we should have a good chance to pick up maybe a second spirit heart on our shop, if there's one for sale, which is always a big if, unfortunately. All right, just wanted to sink that one in there, and... Ah, we got lucky. I was hoping we'd be able to kill, uh, that champion. And we were. Bob's brain, man, I'm telling you. When things get chaotic, it's it's very problematic. But until things get chaotic, it's extremely good. One of the better principal damage dealers. If possible, I would like to avoid, um, the Yum Heart. The reason is, there's actually a pretty good chance we can get 2 HP from the, uh... From the prayer card on this floor, all we need to do is find a battery charge in our shop. Even if we don't, we'll pop this right away just so we can, you know, play a blood bank if one shows up. 
If we find a battery charge in our shop and we don't have to buy a spirit heart, all of a sudden, you know, we're gonna be at 6 HP minus whatever we give to the deal with the devil. So that's, it's very encouraging. It should be obvious, I suppose. Uh, we have this chariot card as well. We'll be able to pop that against uh, our boss. And with that in mind, it doesn't really matter who our boss is, especially if we pop the chariot card, then, um, you know, Bob's brain. It's enough damage to take out most enemies pretty easily. Now, there is a battery charge, and there is no uh, spirit heart. So I think even though Black Candle is really useful, I'm just going to buy the battery charge to give us that little HP injection here. Let's be honest, there was no way that we were going to get another full charge unless this is like the longest basement 2 I've ever seen in my life. I dislike both of these enemies. We really need this deal with the devil to come through in the clutch for us because we are um, very low on damage. I mean, we can, we can gloss over that fact for a while as our HP is so good, but eventually the reckoning is gonna come. Be cool. We want to catch them. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking for. Except we would have liked to have gotten or have gotten as many in the explosion as possible. Sorry, my brain is like taking a little while to turn on. I'm a turbo dork, and and we stayed super late at Friday Night Magic last night. It was my first Friday Night Magic ever. It was fun. Thank you for asking. If you're asking what Friday Night Magic is, it's a casual oriented uh, Magic the Gathering event. Oh, this is a very easy fight for us with the Cherry card. Um, Kind of incentivized by Wizards of the Coast, but thrown by local game stores in, in your community. Uh, we played four rounds. I went two and two. I'm proud of myself. It was a good game, I think. And my plans have backfired here. We do want Judas of Shadow. If we want Judas of Shadow, we also want everything else. That's a no-brainer. Two and two, unfortunately, not quite uh, good enough to, to earn me a prize in the form of boosters or anything like that. But they, I had a good time regardless. And, you know, the entry fee for the, for the tournament is $3. Which is pretty... Ridiculous. The first two games that I played, like, pretty ridiculously low, I should say. The first two games that I played, I was like, oh, I came to the wrong neighborhood. I got smoked by these guys who were like, yeah, tomorrow we're going to, like, the Grand, P Grand Prix uh, Tour Qualifier for Quebec City. And I'm like, you're going to play in this tournament, and if you win, you're going to, like, fly across the country? And then they're like, yeah. And I was like, that's awesome! <laughs> it wasn't like, I wasn't, I, I don't want to be the person who is, like, my, you know, nemesis, where they're like, wait a minute, you play video games for a living? Can you ex explain to me how that works again? I am I got my lawyer on the phone. It doesn't seem to make much sense to me anyway. No, they they did some shit that was so complicated that when they announced their turn, I was basically like, I'm going to be honest with you. You can pretty much do whatever you want because I I have no idea what you're talking about, but it seems like you're probably not just going to, you know, scum up a new player with your $500 cards uh, and, and cheat. You know, you don't need to cheat. Let's put it that way. Um, and then... In the second uh, two games, my opponents were very nice. Not that the first two were not. They were just, you know, very skilled players. They were like, hey, just so you know, like, I'm new to the game and this is my first Friday Night Magic. And I was like, well, just so you know, I'm new to the game and this is my first Friday Night Magic. And we were like, oh, cool. We can ask questions and not feel like dorks anymore. Uh, or not feel like noobs anymore. I'm trying to figure out the right nomenclature. That's okay, though. All right. Anyway, back to, back to Rebirth. This run is going... Swimmingly might be the way that I would describe it right now. We can fly thanks to that uh, fate pickup. And we also have a little bit more damage thanks to Judas's Shadow. Judas's Shadow, not quite a game winner by itself, but it, as far as I'm concerned, Judas's Shadow is almost like a, it's a seasoning for a run. You know, it's like salt. Nobody's favorite meal is salt. That's just ridiculous. However, you'll know when you have it, and you'll know when you don't have it. There's, the, the metaphor doesn't fully fit because there's no like. You know, can you have too much Judas Shadow on a run? I don't know, I guess that would be like having too many damage multipliers, but it's not actively bad. It's just kind of like not any, it's not good anymore. You get the idea, hopefully, though. Is this an XL floor? It feels like a, a long floor. I will say I would like to season the run a little bit more. I'd like a little bit more damage. I really thought we'd be able to sneak through there. Ooh, that was a little tricky. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to, to pick up a little bit more damage. Sister Maggie is not cutting it. Uh, Book of Sin didn't pay out for us at all, obviously. It is only Caves 1. It's just a little bit of a, a long Caves 1. And thank you, Halo of Flies. The damage I took was my own fault. The damage you saved me from was, uh, was magnificent. Let's try not to die here. We are starting to get into a dire situation. Judas the Shadow by itself is not an, an instant win card. Or <laughs> Sorry. Too much magic. An instant win, uh... Item. That's the word that we use. Uh, 
Neither is little Chad. Little Chad can contribute to a good situation, but as it, you know, in and of itself, and especially with only one red heart container, is not a good situation. Oh, that's real bad. Um, oh, this is fantastic. We've turned it around immediately as a result of that battery charge. Poor play, but again, part of that poor play is, uh, you know, seeded in Bob's brain. So I'm not super surprised. We just need to play with a little bit more diligence here, I think. Luckily, we don't want any of those cards, or the, the deck of cards, or um, the, the pills here. That puts us in a better situation to just buy the Spirit Heart and hopefully protect our Red Hearts. We also have an extra Eternal Heart coming here uh, as a result of the Battery Charge. And there might just be enough space left on this floor to complete this. But even if there's not, uh, I mean, we don't need to complete it. We're going to get the HP regardless, right? So, uh, unless this drops another Battery Charge, in which case there may be enough to actually get... Two more plays here, but sadly, there was not. That's okay. Here we have Pestilence and uh, a Tinted Rock. I would really like Small Rock right now. I mean, the Spirit Hearts have been uh, a little bit more precious to me than, than Damage, but Damage is going to be more valuable as the game goes on, especially considering we still have a uh, Prayer Card. We're going to have three HP for the next floor. We had technically zero coming down to this floor. Zero in the form of uh, eternal or of, of red hearts, anyway. Oh, we got a rune, which is an Ansu's rune, and two spirit hearts. I think we're just gonna leave. There's no way we're gonna get another charge right away. What we should have done if we were doing our full due diligence, you know, if this is our final Isaac exam, do all the rooms so that you get a little closer to finding um, that full charge. That way, when you come down to this floor, you can just use it right away. That feels like a secret room, yeah, right there. Algiz, worth saving. But also, you know, some uses for it right here. Let's pop this down. Paralysis! Oh man, I am very lucky not to get hit by paralysis there. Health up is good. Health down is okay. And by okay, I mean obviously terrible. But I mean, it, it, we know now. I mean, it's not like we got a health down without the health up. Now we know both of them are in the rotation. So, life goes on. Guppy's Paw gives us our first Guppy item. And uh, we would still love to become Guppy on this run, no question about it. Might as well go deep on this one. Pick up as much money as is possible. 31 cents. Okay. Now we can go to our uh, mob slash boss trap room here. I guess it is a boss trap room. And we will uh, hope to pick up another red chest, I suppose. We can always use algas on here if we're not comfortable with the, uh, the enemies that we're going to be fighting. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to use algas on here. I think I've earned the right to, to use Algiz as kind of a luxury play, alright? It's a little bit of a waste. We could have used this better in the future, there's no question about it. But at the same time, this is going to make my life substantially easier. I'm not going to worry myself about, you know, getting hit by Bob's brain. And we'll kill those enemies very easily. We're slow enough right now that I'm not even concerned about boss rush. Like, I don't think boss rush is really on the table. If it is, it's going to be more of a, a luxury as opposed to something that's super likely. So, it's going to be actually a bit of a Hail Mary play, so... I think we'll just be smart about it for now. You know, use use your resources when you have them to make your life easier. Yeah, just walk into your own bomb. That's fine by me, I suppose, all things considered. And we'll blow you up. Mr. Boom is not worth taking. I want to do all these rooms down here. Uh, and the reason for this, I know it's a little bit out of character, but I want to get this full heart completed before we go back to where our IV bag is. That way we can get some more money out of that without the risk of losing our eternal heart. And by risk, I mean, you know, guarantee. But <laughs> guarantees are really just really, really assured risks if you think about it. I think this might land. It actually just kind of skirted by and caused me to take a little bit of, well, it's not Bob's brain's fault I took the damage, but if Bob's brain had just uh, done the damage there, I wouldn't have taken the damage. It's the butterfly effect starring Ashton Kutcher. You know, you miss with Bob's brain, all of a sudden you wake up in a parallel universe where you're missing two of your arms or something like that. It's been a while since I've seen the butterfly effect, but I seem to recall that that's a, that's a principal element of the film. 43 cents has me rethinking why the hell I even care about uh, this IV bag. Oh, we've done a really good job of planning out uh, when to attack these enemies. Not to toot my own horn, but really simplified that quite quickly. There is a battery charge and a 9 volt. I gotta think about that one, because there's... All sorts of uh, repercussions there. We should be able to get a charge followed by another full charge. Pheromones I'll just use. Like, we could just get one more full HP right here. I believe. 
In fact, I, I don't even know why I'm questioning it. It should be easy to do so. There's a 9 volt which gives us a charge, and then the battery charge which gives us a charge. We also have two of hearts, which we'll keep to use with the IV bag. And we'll probably try to use the IV bag in one of these rooms with HP. Although I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. How do we know the second secret room is here? Oh, the Ansu's room. Oh, that's where we'll use IV bag for sure. Um, so we'll buy this. That'll give us that. We'll buy this. That'll do that. Okay, now we're up to 5 HP. With no chance to get a uh, another drop before the next floor. But still, that was a good turn of events. And now we should be able to get... I don't know. I mean, there's probably like 10, 12 hearts in there. Optimistically, I'd say maybe we can get to 50 or 60 cents. There's not 10 or 12 hearts. You know, there's 8, but still. So we can play this all the way down to half of a red heart. Pick up enough to take us back to nearly full HP and then do the same thing again. Every nickel drop really changes things for us here as well. We can still do one more. Okay, that, that takes us to full HP. And we're at 70 cents basically. And then we'll go uh, to down to two and a half. One, two, three, four, five. And then two of hearts. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, did, I was only going to do 6, but then I decided to do 8 because we got that extra HP from uh, Old Bandage there. So we'll go pick up the rest of the HP that we have back here. And probably on this floor, if we've already said no to Boss Rush, or, you know, not not likely to Boss Rush, we should donate as much as possible. So let's start donating here and hopefully they'll accept my uh, comeuppance for what I've done recently. Milking the donation machine a lot, but this is the equilibrium uh, condition we hope for, you know. It was, obviously it didn't work out that well, but a run where you have a lot of money uh, basically compensating for many runs in which you don't have very much money, so you, you bomb the shit out of the donation machine. Uh, we'll stick with Ace of Spades for now. We are really banking on a deal with the devil here, and it, it should be relatively likely. Okay... I know we have Blue Candle as well as an option from our, uh... Wow, that's that's more HP. I know we have Blue Candle as well as an option from our, uh, shop, but I kinda, you know, I like the prayer card. Our damage does leave a little bit to be desired, so Blue Candle would normally be sort of incentivized, but, uh... I think I'm gonna stick with what we've got right now, just to... I don't know, show some loyalty for once in, in this crazy mixed up world. We don't want to be a mercenary in Isaac, we want to we wanna show a little bit of home team support. We'll take our HP. Um, and now I'm like, maybe we should take Blue Candle because we're already at max HP. But no, this will change it because we'll lose it all. Rolling in the deep. Uh, so we'll definitely take Mom's Knife. And it's not like we had cool tier synergies that compensated for it. We'll take Abaddon, of course. And then we'll head down to the next floor. Uh, stick with the prayer card in case we lose HP, I guess. Might as well use it once. Now our damage is just out of this world. We're way behind schedule for a boss rush, but... You know, it's one of those situations where if we'd gotten this a floor ago, we would have been like, oh, this is a guaranteed boss rush. But because we got it a floor later, after I'd already committed to some extra shenanigans, um, it's, uh, it's not going to be as quick, but at the same time, it's no less valuable. This will be a win now. Although I do sort of wish that we had not, well, don't eat that. I do sort of wish that we had not taken Bob's brain now that I know I'm going to have uh, Mom's knife. Ooh, don't make the same mistake I often make there. Good stuff. We want to keep ourselves away from the, the line of fire as much as possible. We may still be able to make a beeline for boss rush. I don't want to skip too much in the process of making it happen. But we do have this fool card. Usually that's worth it. We want to keep some red hearts flowing here so that we have a good chance to get our uh, deals with the devil without paying like 25% of our HP for them. One twelfth is definitely better than a quarter. Okay, just land Bob's brain. It's like our... Our best ranged opportunity. Okay, so we found the item room. Hopefully the shop is close to the boss room here. Little haunt is fine. Not amazing, but fine. It's going to slow us down by a little bit there. But we do want this key. We'll take the money just because 64 is better than 63. I mean, there's no video game console called the Nintendo 63, is there? If there is, you should not tell your parents to get it for you, because it is probably going to be bad. It's good. Super Marnio 64! It's a genuine Soiny! Oh, okay, that's going to completely screw our chances of boss rush. Alright, well, long live the dream. The dream is dead. Let's, uh... 
just play it cool here. I had no idea that was a tinted rock. Moon, Fool, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, let's take the Moon card, which is basically just a, a better teleport. And I may just bomb my way out of that big room. I just hate dealing with the wall masters, aka Mom's Hand, aka I hate them. Uh, we'll just throw a bomb down here. It's not like bombs are going to be too precious for us. And we'll get this rune, and then we'll freaking leave. So we lost our moon card for Burkano. But imagine if it had been Yera. We'd be singing a different story right now, wouldn't we? Rhyme of the Edmund Fitzgerald. It's a classic, Gordon Lightfoot. Okay, we do get a deal with the devil. I'm kind of surprised in this one. We will take our second guppy item, and as far as I'm concerned, we might as well take Lord of the Pit to put us in permanent polar invincibility territory, and we're going to get our HP back anyway. Even though we could already fly, and might be soon to get our third ability to fly, uh, I still kind of... I like it because of the invincibility. We know we're not going to get HP from the boss on this floor. Might be a good time to stop and, and think about whether we truly want to use our prayer card the next time it becomes available. Invincibility is worth a lot when you have Mom's Knife and you can just walk into enemies. So the Emperor card is also very interesting. We can get out of Boss Rush with it or we can get into Boss Rush with it. There is a full battery charge. I think at this point I, I can't say no to that. I gotta go for the full HP. We're not saddled with an eternal heart we have to protect. Maybe mapping? Oh man, just several different kinds of books. We'll use this one. Uh, we might as well use this one. Try to get us a little bit more vision quickly. We're already at 19 minutes. Oh god, go. We don't need the other books. We, we don't have rerolls. What are the What are the odds we're going to be able to make that happen, right? And every second is actually like exceptionally valuable here. That was a quick room. Monstro's Tooth is bad. Don't even give it a second of thought. Don't care about the chest. Just go. It's still plausible, I think. Now the Emperor card is worthless. Shop, no greed. Mapping. You're gonna give me mapping. Uh, we get the battery, we're gonna go. That's it. That's all we care about. Still got a chance. Kill the exploding one. Still got a chance. Still got a chance! I'm telling you, there's a chance. Hit me, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? Stand there, stand there. That's it, just do the damage. We did it. Get the deal with the devil quickly. Oh no! Krampus, why'd you do it, buddy? We don't want it, we don't want it! Go, 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 okay, two seconds left. Um, let's take Daddy Long Legs. Emperor card out. Never a doubt in my mind that we would make it there. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I'm lucky I committed when I did. Might as well try this for the guppy chance. Alright, and the, you know, kind of delayed guppy chance. Um, might as well, uh, or I'm, I'm, I should say I'm, I'm happy I committed when I did. And I, I did say it, I'm happy I committed when I did. Could have taken 2020 as well, but, you know, until it gets a cool Mom's Knife synergy, I think Daddy Long Legs is a little bit more fun. I can't believe we managed to, to swing Boss Rush there. Whew, uh, Death versus High Priestess. Death I like a little bit more because it can kill volume, like on these big rooms, if, if it was full of, like, um, you know, Larry Juniors or something like that. It could kill them all. High Priestess would kill one. Death card, good chance to kill them all. And we'll keep stacking up these prayer card chances, uh, or not even chances, but guarantees. This is why I said that it was such a good, uh... Wow, those are all champions, huh? Um, that's why I said we had such a good combination in the early game. We've, we've been managing to make prayer card just endless fuel for deals with the devil. Probably should have been hit there. And, uh, it just, it, it doesn't stop at this point. And again, this run is basically unlosable. I mean, the deals with the devil are the, the obvious cause. But the, the prayer card made it so we didn't even have to engage in any kind of like high level order or high order uh, tactical bullshit in order to get them. You know, we just we just played our game. And we've taken deals with the devil we don't even want. We got Sister Maggie. We had Book of Sin just to have it. No spirit heart there is a little surprising to me. Ah, there we go. And... Mr. Fred, we've had some long-ass Mr. Fred fights recently. This will not be one of them. We do get a deal with the devil. The speed is actually valuable. I was feeling a little sluggish. We'll pick up Moonstar. I really doubt we'll have the opportunity to use it, but it doesn't take much for us to get to the point where we can um, 
you know, get the HP back for what we spent here. I was really thinking that this would probably be, uh... The gateway to the second secret room. It's not, so I think I may just leave, honestly. Not much keeping us here right now. So we'll head down. And we have Curse of the Lost. Making me feel bad that I didn't take Black Candle when we had that opportunity oh so long ago. I really do feel Black Candle is one of the best uh, secret room, or sorry, uh, shop room items. Joker? Joker, alright. Guppy Chance grows again. Yeah, we, uh, we passed it up to pick up a Spirit Heart, and it's hard to be mad about that decision. You know, it's like, well, I made the decision to drop out of my band to go to medical school, and now I'm a dope-ass, like, urologist or something like that. But maybe we could have made it. I mean, it's, I guess it's only human to have that kind of, uh, to have that question lingering in your mind. However, at the same time, you're like, I'm a dope-ass urologist. I'm not doing so bad for myself. That, this is bad damage, man. I thought our invincibility would last longer than that. Which is foolish of me. That's, that's a rookie mistake. Not to be insulting to rookies, you know? We don't have any guaranteed, uh, respawns here. We do have Guppy's... Collar, but we don't want to rely on that. We have relied on that recently. We don't want to rely on that, you know? You're pushing your luck here. Oh, I didn't even see that Bob's brain was back. There should be, like, a, an item that recycles Bob's brain. It's like, you know, we know you needed this yesterday. Bob's brain buoys you to these runs of, of relative power when you're weak. But now we're strong and we want to get rid of it because it's a liability. Okay, yeah, let's just go for it. Um, there might be a, a health upgrade in there, so I should take a look. I mean, if I'm going to commit to these, like, full Red Heart runs, I might as well. I know we have Moonstar, aka Horror of Babylon. I don't really care, uh... If we make it work, that's great. That's better. Optimal. But if we, if we can't make it work, so be it, you know? We, we already have enough damage. Damage is not even close to our, our sore spot on this run. Man, tears down, tears down, range down, paralysis. Sounds like a nursery rhyme from the, you know, bubonic plague era. Joker card. And the pact. Still no Moonstar, but, uh, basically traded red hearts for the equivalent amount of spirit hearts. That's fine. And, uh... Pheromones. Could, be, could work on a big room, I guess. Um, and that's a Tears Down, which I should have known, because I just touched several of them in the last room. Good room for Pheromones, actually. Feels weird saying that, as you might expect. Uh, yeah, this is, this is still fine. The Pact was a, a good pickup. No question about it. Small questions about it, but not really large questions about it. Come on, Red Chest. Complete my guppy dream before the end. Uh, well, I mean, a black heart's pretty good, but there's no uh, red chest. Pop the Empress card, babysit Bob's brain, and then start doing enough damage that this fight will be over relatively soon. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Didn't even see the angel fetuses, which is one of the ways you know that your damage is really good. The other way you would know is if you barely even saw Isaac because he just died as soon as you walked into the fight. Man, this was like... I thought we would be out of the boss... Uh, like, out of the mom fight by 24 minutes. We're actually on the chest by 24 minutes. It's Bob's Brain Abaddon pickup changed everything, as you might expect, I guess. And our second secret room is all the way over there, so I'm thinking this may be the right way. If not, there's going to be a big loop in here somewhere, which is fine. Run's been good. I'm not even mad. Uh, actually, we can probably bypass the loop by blowing this up, and then that'll, you know, cut five or six rooms off of the off of the rotation here, which is actually great for us. Yeah, this run just... There was nothing wrong with this run, except for my play at the start of it, but... Oh, I won with my play. That, is that the reincarnated ghost of old Blue Eyes Frank Sinatra? No. Just me, Northern Lion. YouTube.com slash Northern Lion. You can buy my CD on iTunes. Lovely is Skype message uh, from Mathis Games. I wonder if he's going to continue to blame me for the fact that there's no rebirth races, even though he deleted the footage of four of them that we took right before PAX. Uh, you'll never see uh, the trouncings that I gave him. He didn't delete them out of rage. It was it was an honest mistake, but still. A lion never forgets. That's what they say, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm not being facetious at all. I don't know. What is sarcasm? 
kind of just want to sit here and let Daddy Longlegs kill all these enemies. Like, I feel like if I break them, it's actually worse for my ability to kill them quickly. Like, Daddy Longlegs just completely trounces them. But here I am, like, breaking them up into ten different sections to make it ten times longer for Daddy Longlegs to finish the job. That's what I was hoping for right there. I guess if, I, if I'd wounded it a little bit right off the bat, it would have been better. But, it, you know, with Mom's Knife, Abaddon, the Pact, several other uh, upgrades here, it's pretty hard to wound. Killing is easy. Wounding it takes a little bit more finesse. Now, this is a good room for Daddy Longlegs. Uh, unless it completely fucks up. Multiple times in a row. That's okay, though. No Bob's Brain, no Bob's Brain. For every shot, you gotta ask yourself, do you know Bob's Brain? This is not our boss fight. Yo, you're cutting into my timing here a little bit. Do get another HP upgrade, though. How many have we gotten so far on this run? Probably, like, at least 15? That's only two per floor or so, so I feel like we're actually hitting way above that right now. Shoop da whoop. How about schnoop da nope? It doesn't really work, but feel free to use that. You can print that on a t-shirt or something. Shoop da whoop, more like schnoop da nope. That'll sell two or three copies on Red, Bull, Red Bubble. I was like, it'll sell two or three Red Bulls. If you can get a promotion with the Red Bull Corporation, then by all means. Please. <clears throat> Good. Uh, let's go left here. Go left. -er. I'm a little disappointed in my blue map and its inability to help us find where the boss room is, but again, we're kind of just you know killing time until the end of this run. Not that, not in a negative way. More so, just uh, you know, we don't have much. Like, nothing is gonna happen that's gonna change the way that this run is gonna go. Let's just put it that way. And Juicy Sack is fine. Where the heck... These these rooms must join up up here. Yeah. Serves me right for thinking I, I did something amazing by skipping that secret room, right? Or by using that secret room to skip things. Didn't really end up working out that way. Great luck stat, as you can see as well. Uh, absolutely no chests have dropped so far. That's always encouraging. We have gotten some items, but they've been from Wheels of Fortune, which I guess is actually better because we use bombs, which we have more of, instead of keys, but why not both? El old El Paso commercial dot JPEG, why not both? When my girl says we can either have sex or see a movie. Old El Paso girl dot JPEG, LOL, so true. So true. Tears in my eyes. I can't even. Okay, here we go. Let's finish this off. Pop the strength card and then just run in there as soon as possible. That was an easy one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.